Hello, and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Today, we're going to look at a crime boss who made 2.3 million through drug dealing, but ended up having all his funds seized by the courts. The ringleader of a drug scam, which traded in cocaine and ecstasy, who is already in jail, has been brought back before the courts in an attempt to take back some of the proceeds of crime. Andrew Blake of South Hetton was jailed for 14 years after being found guilty of conspiracy to supply cocaine and ecstasy. The gang were jailed for a combined total of 75 years. More than 40 detectives took part in a lengthy surveillance operation which led to seizures of drugs and more than £100,000 in cash. Andrew Blake, who was described as the ringleader of the gang, was sentenced to 14 years. He was described as one of the ringleaders by prosecutor Peter Makepeace QC. Mr Blake was a major recipient of the cocaine, said Mr Makepeace. He received about 15 kilos of the drugs over 18 months and he had his own support team. The police were able to identify individuals who visited Mr Blake's address and took quantities of cocaine to be sold on to an existing network of customers. The drugs were often advertised via text message. Police were able to establish that Mr Blake kept some of the cocaine safe from the seizures at his girlfriend's house in Easington Lane. Other members of the gang also used safe houses for the processing and storage of cocaine and cash. Mr Makepeace QC outlined the role of each defendant. Robert Anderson supplied high grain cocaine to Mr Blake for onward supply to the dealers lower down the chain. Stuart Gooden regularly supplied 9 ounces of high purity cocaine via Mr Blake for onward supply. Andrew Balford was involved in the supply to Mr Blake and in the supply to the co-conspirator. Darren McBride was supplied with cocaine for onward supply to his own customer base. Dean Smart was the recipient of cocaine for onward supply. Ryan Johnson was a supplier of cocaine and an onwards dealer. The barristers for the defendants said none were dealing at the highest level and there was no evidence they made a lot of money from the conspiracy. However, they were all found guilty, and the following were all convicted of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and were sentenced by Judge Deborah Sherwin. Andrew Blake received 14 years. Andrew Balford received 7 years. Dean Smart received 4.5 years. Darren McBride received 10 years. Paul Casey received 7 years. Robert Anderson received 10 years. Stuart Gooden received 10 years, Ryan Johnson received 7 years, Ian Ramshaw received 5 years. The judge told the men, some of the defendants had access to high grade cocaine at close to import levels of purity. This was a complex case and it has not been easy to access the total supply and involvement of each person. Where there was any doubt, I have adjusted the sentence in favour of the defendant. The investigation, codenamed Operation Sidra, was led by Detective Chief Inspector Nicola Lawrence of Durham Police. This organised crime gang was involved in bringing huge amounts of Class A drugs into the East Durham area and beyond. Throughout years of hard work and investigation, and with the support of local people who came forward with vital pieces of information, we have been able to disrupt and destroy this particular drugs network. We at Durham Police hope that this sends a clear message that we will not tolerate any criminality of this nature in our force area. We will relentlessly pursue those involved and put them before the courts to make our streets safer. After all were sentenced, a proceeds a crime application was made against each defendant. Mr Blake appeared before Teesside Crown Court to face a proceeds of crime application where a judge ruled his criminal activities had earned him £2.3 million whilst he was active in the drugs game. The judge ordered that Mr Blake should pay back £203,151.09p which is what his current assets, two houses, a quantity of cash recovered and the money saved in a bank account were all valued at. The judge told Mr Blake that he must return the money within the next three months 
or face the prospect of his jail term being extended by another two years. This is while the police have pledged to keep a watch on his finances and make further applications if his assets increase. The proceeds of crime application was part of Operation Sentinel, the police's northeast fight against serious organised crime. Detective Sergeant Thomas Morn of the Northeast Regional Economic Crime Unit said, We are happy with the outcome. However, make no mistake, if Mr. Blake's assets increase further, we will make further applications to recruit that money. This order shows that in addition to prosecuting those who believe they are above the law, we will also pursue them to deprive them of their criminal gains. What are your opinions on the crimes committed by Mr. Blake and his drugs gang? Do you think the judge has sentenced him too harsh or not harsh enough? Also, what are your opinions on the compensation order which is coming in at just over £200,000. Would you pay the money or do an extra two years in jail? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to like and share. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoy Street Crime UK content, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and press the bell so you can join us on the next video. Thank you for joining us and until next time, Stay safe.